Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is called the alert dialog, which informs the user about a particular situation. For example, a common use of this is when a user attempts to log out or if they want to delete something, and then a box appears just double checking if they really do want to perform that action. So let me show you how to implement this by jumping into the code. Now, just to keep everyone on the same page, I've got here a main function that's running my app, which is running the home page, which is a stateful widget, and inside I've just got a blank scaffold. So inside here, I'm just gonna give a nice background, and in the body, let's just create a material button saying show dialog. There's our button, but let's just make the font a little bigger so that we can all see this. Awesome, now when we press this button, let's create a method called show dialog. So void show dialog. And let's fill this out. When this method is called, what we're gonna return is the alert dialog, which is the widget of the day. Inside here, let's specify a title. Let's just call it title. And let's just save this and see how this looks. Yep, so it's just a blank box that just displays the title. You can also specify the content, which is just some extra bit of information. And what's really important here is the actions. So inside the list of actions, we can create some buttons. And these buttons could really be anything. So let's just for now, let's just call it button and create two of these. And there it is. So these buttons we can click on. Now, just before we proceed, I do want to show you something else with this alert dialog. You can also return a what's called a Cupertino alert dialog, which is an alert dialog that is in the Apple style. If you didn't know, Cupertino was a city in Silicon Valley that Apple's headquarters are based in. Now, of course, you can specify the background color for this alert dialog. So let's just say pink. And for these buttons on the unpressed function, you can decide what you want to do inside there. Now a common use of these two buttons is usually like OK and cancel or like yes or no. Now just to illustrate the functionality of this button here, if I press the cancel button, I want the box to be dismissed. So in order to do that, you're going to execute this bit of code here. So navigate.pop. So this is going to dismiss the alert dialog. If I hit cancel, it just dismisses itself. So this is how you use an alert dialog. If you have any questions, just let me know below. Hopefully that was easy to understand. But other than that, Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!